non-flow and flow processes so we have uh, three types of systems which we have isolated closed uh, closed system and open system so for the isolated there will be no heat or mass transfer across the boundary okay no mass and no heat across the boundary for the isolated but for the closed system this one is the closed system energy uh, uh, heat is a type of energy heat can transfer across the boundary but there are no mass can transfer across the boundary so this is the closed system or it's called as uh, non-flow processes for the open system for the flow processes open system heat and mass can transfer across the boundary both of mass and heat okay heat is a type of energy okay so that's the difference between closed and open system or non-flow and flow processes we have few types of forms of energy which is uh, such as thermal energy, mechanical, chemical, kinetic, potential, electric, magnetic and nuclear energy. Okay, we have uh, the capital E of the symbol uh, E, uh, capital E is the symbol of total energy which is sum of all energy in the system and if it's divided into, uh, divided by mass, total energy divided uh, uh, over mass, uh, we have small uh, E in here, uh, okay uh okay so uh, total energy divided by mass is uh, we get the small e at here and eh, for the equations kilojoule per kilogram forms of energy is divided into okay from that make up the total energy of system uh, came from macroscopy and microscopic macroscopic is the energy of a system as a whole with respect to some outside reference frame such as kinetic energy and potential energy but for the microscopic it is related to molecular structure of a system and the degree of molecular activity and it is also independent of outside reference frames sum of all microscopic forms of energy is equals to internal energy and the capital of u so in here we have macroscopic forms of energy kinetic energy is a result of a motion relative to some reference frame and this is the equation kinetic energy equals to mv square over 2 which v is the velocity of, velocity of the system and the uh, um, m is the mass of an object and this is the potential energy which is uh, due to elevation in a gravitational field and this is the equation potential energy equals to mgh uh, m is the mass g is the gravitational acceleration and we have this uh, we have the value and H is the elevation of center of gravity of a system relative to some arbitrary plane or is uh, is the height and uh, therefore total of energy is equals to internal energy plus kinetic energy plus potential energy is equals to total energy of the system okay internal energy okay so it is a sum of all microscopic forms of energy of a system which related to molecular structure and degree of molecular activity. So in the internal energy, we also we, we have the kinetic energy, potential energy, but in terms of molecular translation, uh, molecular tr rotation, electron translation, molecular vibration, electron spin and nuclear spin. Uh, in terms of sensible energy which depend on the temperature. Okay, latent heat is internal energy associated to with the phase of a system and the phase change process can occur without a change in the chemical composition of a system.